Hi, I'm Alex from Tutoring Heroes. Today I'm going to help you with some maths. Let's go and have a look at the problems we're going to solve today. Today we're looking at simplifying fractions. Our checklist says to simplify a fraction you divide the numerator and the denominator, that's the top number and the bottom number, by the same amount until you get to the lowest whole number. Try to use the highest common factor to divide. So in this example, I have to divide 8 by the same number that I divide 20. So if I'm going to choose the highest common factor, I would use 4. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 20 divided by 4 equals 5. I cannot divide 2 anymore by the same number that I could divide 5, so I have reached the lowest whole number and I used the highest common factor that I could think of. But sometimes it's not always that easy to see what the common factor is. So you may have a different number that just looks a little bit bigger and you might not be able to recognise the highest common factor straight away. So in this one, the highest common factor is 12. 24 divided by 12 is 2, and 36 divided by 12 is 3. But if I don't know my 12 times table that well, I might not see that. So I can do what I already know. I know my 2 times table very well. 24 divided by 2, 36 divided by 2 equals 12 over 18. So if I now take that fraction and divide that again, I could maybe see that, oh, I know that 3 goes into 12 and 3 goes into 18, so I'll try that. 12 divided by 3 and 18 divided by 3 leaves with me 4 over 6. I can see that I can divide this even further. I know that 4 divided by 2 equals 2 and 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So my fraction started off as a really big fraction, 24 over 36, and it ended up being 2 over 3. If I had known my 12 tab times table, I would have been able to do that straight away and do 24 over 36 divided by 12 divided by 12 equals 2 over 3, which is 2 thirds. So good luck simplifying your fractions. Remember, divide them down until you get to your lowest whole numbers that you possibly can. And if you can, try and use the highest common factor, but you can use a longer method if you need to, if you can't spot that highest factor straight away. Good luck, and I hope this helps you a little bit with your maths. Thanks for watching this video today, brought to you by Tutoring Heroes.